In this video, we will demonstrate how to remove and install the graphics card. Before removing the graphics card, read through the safety guidelines to protect your computer from potential damage and ensure your personal safety. For more information about safety guidelines, see the XPS 8940 service manual at dell.com forward slash support. Before you begin, turn off your computer and disconnect all attached peripherals. Before removing the graphics card, you'll first need to remove the left side cover. To remove the left side cover, loosen the two captive screws that secure the left side cover to the chassis. Using the tab on the left side cover, slide and lift the left side cover off the chassis. Now let's remove the graphics card. Lay the computer on the right side, disconnect the power cables from the graphics card and remove them from the routing guides on the graphics card support bracket. Pull together the securing tabs on the graphics card support bracket and rotate to remove it off the chassis. Lift the pull tab to open the PCIe door. Now, push and hold the securing tab on the graphics card slot and lift the graphics card from the graphics card slot. You have successfully removed the graphics card. Now, let's see how to install the graphics card. Align the graphics card with a PCI Express card connector on the system board. Using the alignment post, connect the card in the connector and press down firmly. Ensure that the card is firmly seated. Then, close the PCIe door. Replace the graphics card support bracket that connects the graphics card. And finally, route the cables through the routing guide on the graphics card support bracket and connect the power cables to the graphics card. Once the graphics card is installed, install the left side cover. To install the left side cover, align the tabs on the left side cover with the slots on the chassis and slide it towards the front of the computer. Then, tighten the two captive screws that secure the left side cover to the chassis. The graphics card installation process is now complete. For more information, see the service manual document at dell.com forward slash support.